Hey, this is Alex with Landscaping Experts. We're out here doing uh, some walkthroughs on past job sites. What we like to do after we build, we like to come back, make sure that it held up, you know, pretty good through winter, see how everything's going. So this particular walkway here, we actually did two years ago, and as you guys, you guys can see, it, uh, it, it's held up pretty damn well. So let's check it out. On this one, we did uh, some Unilock Beacon Hill Flagstone with some uh, Matoni. And let me show you guys my favorite part about this one here. We got a little creative because we wanted to make it look like a nice nice entrance, a little more uh, appealing. So let's check this. So we got a nice herringbone pattern here with the, with the uh, Matoni. Check it out. We talk about phases a lot. Uh, once we have our, our design uh, in, with our, in our system, the design is there for a lifetime, and this is a perfect example of doing, doing everything in phases. As you can see, this was phase one, and phase two, I'm gonna show you guys in the back really quick. We start with, a, with some stepping stones here. Uh, these are Unilock again. We have, these are Beacon Hill Smooth XL units. All right, so we step into the patio. We got some more Matoni there in the herringbone pattern. This is uh, Unilock Trio Smooth. And then uh, let me show you guys how we incorporated that herringbone like we did in the front. We got this section here. So the, one of the biggest things is making sure the, the sand in between held up, that there's no e uneven pavers. Biggest thing is the steps. That's the biggest thing we have to look at to see if there's any, any settling or anything like that. But I can see this one, this one held up just fine as well. Uh, same thing with that one. So as you can see, all the sand is still in there. Didn't sink in at all. Another thing is, See freestanding walls or retaining walls or anything like that. We want to make sure that there was no major settlement or any movement still holding up pretty well. I mean, everything looks good. And remember, we have this. I'll be honest, this is nothing new. We have stuff that my dad's built 20, 25 years ago, and it still looks the same. As long as pavers are serviced how the way they're supposed to be and maintained, they'll be around for a lifetime. And, and the actual materials guaranteed with Unilock for a lifetime bell guard. Most manufacturers we use and we're authorized by, they will be lifetime warranty. So, like I said, it's not a surprise, but I like to show you guys, you know, what we do after we're, we're building. All right, so as you guys can see, we're walking across the street. We actually were building these two projects at the same time. This one actually did in one phase. We did the front walkway stoop, which we'll show you guys a little bit. And then all, we also did a back patio as well. And like I said, these were done at the same time. Uh, I'm gonna say last year, uh, midsummer. See on this one, we went a little bit different. We went, we still went the uh, Beacon Hill Flagstone and then we changed it up with the with the border, which is a Holland Stone. And then what we did on there is we covered up their concrete stoop with our old quarry. Uh, and then our full nose coping, Sierra, which is all, this is all Unilock product here. All right, so we're, we made it to the second one for the day. And as you guys can see, not everything's perfect. This particular patio, there's something that we saw we don't, that we don't like. For some reason, if you get closer here with the camera, you see there's moss growing in between all joints. Water is draining fine. It's just that for some reason, all of these joints have moss in it. Like I said, I, that's something that we come back and figure out what, what's going on. Obviously power wash it before we resand it. We have to figure out what the problem is, either sand went bad or, or too much shade and we have to apply different kind of sand that's where like i said we come in figuring out what's gonna you know what's really gonna solve the issue that we have now so that way this pad is here for a long time all right we're at a third location of the day this one if i can remember it was a brussels block with some old quarry walls some pillars and then a separate fire pit section All right, so as you guys can see, this one held up pretty well over the winter as well. Seems like the sand stayed in place. There's no settling or anything like that. It seems like everything held up pretty well other than like some minor spots with the sand, which is this is, this is pretty normal here on the edges where sand doesn't stay in place. We can probably come back, refill it for them. But other than that, I think they're in very good shape. All right, so this one checked out pretty good. On to the next one. All 
All right, so we're at our fourth stop. We're in Lamont, Illinois. We have a few to uh, take a look at here. This one's a walkway, patio, and a fire table. We have our Trio Smooth Sierra with our Holland Stone border, charcoal. You see, this is a walkway right here. We're gonna walk back to the patio, seat wall, and like I said, it's a linear, I would call it a linear fire, uh, fire pit. So that's a gas, let's go check it out. We have our full nose coping here with our um, old quarry. We, did, we made it out of this old quarry corners. This is a, was a custom fire pit. What we did was we built it out and then we call our guys at Chicago Gas Lines. They brought in a burner, some lava rock, and then you know they put the burner in there. So it's a, it's a really nice, nice setup. You just turn the key, lighter, and you're all good to go. And then as you can see, we also have that seat wall there. Um, lighting, they might be doing it in a second phase. Nice, simple, functional setup as you can see as well here. What we did with the pavers is we flipped them around to give it a little more character that was just wasn't a, a big big patio just all papers going the same way and then also we kind of defined the space here with the with the borders so yeah that's uh that's about it on this one it looks like everything's holding up very very well on this one as well i see that sand is in place There's, there was no movement and remember these are new builds as well a lot of people are very afraid of building anything on the new builds because they're going to settle they're going to crack or whatever it is but if you do the proper base which is key as you guys can see, this is a year later, zero movement. So that's really about it for this one. All right, we're at our fifth stop. Cool thing about this project is that you're gonna see a project we built four years ago. You're gonna be able to see what the weather's done to it and pretty much in the worst case scenario. So let's go check it out and see uh, how it's holding up after four years. So on this one, we have our Beacon Hill Smooth, which is a very popular paver for us. Another one that I haven't used in a little while, which uh, brought back some memories is our Series 3000. I uh, definitely, biggest thing I like about this Series 3000 is when it's uh, sealed, it has a sparkle to it which i um, pretty sure we're gonna be sanding and sealing this one. So we'll probably come back and show you guys what I'm talking about. Simple project, service walkway that leads to the back to a patio. I think it's a 40 by 15. Another thing I wanna talk about is, remember fully transparency here is another thing we, di we did stop using is, I mean, nothing bad about it, but uh, the plastic edging. Um, so as you can see with time, it does with the freeze and thaw cycles it does tend to start popping up after, after you can see this is four years so it's not a bad thing but we switched over to our concrete edging with uh fibers in it and you know definitely a lot better for the freezing and thaw cycles that we have here so that's one thing that we change over the years New construction they said this has been for four years so as you can see there's actually zero movement we did have to come back again full transparency we did have to come back for the step that we had minor settlement there uh, which is pretty normal for a new build but it was fixed within a few hours which is the good thing about pavers you pop them up do what you got to do put them back down and you're done as you can see everything's holding up very well even the sand after four years pretty impressed with how it's holding up but um customer did request they want to power wash, resand, and seal this one. So not much to see here, because uh, everything's looking pretty good. So on to the next one. All right, so we're stop was at number six. Uh, this one, we did a pavilion, and we did our, it was a 40 by 20 with our Unilock slab. So let's check this one out. It's been, I'm gonna say, this is gonna be the third season has been in. So you guys get to see what our pavilion looks like three years later, and then our pavers. So as you can see, once again, after three, four seasons of this being in, new build. We're doing a lot of new builds. Uh, it's been a thing for, uh, for us here in the past few years, so we're doing a lot of new builds. You can see no settlement at all just by looking at it. Always the, the step is the one that there's, there, where there's movement a lot of times, but as you can see, we've taken all the preventative measures to make sure that there is no movement and obviously that's working whatever we're doing. There's a, there's a little more detail to this one here. We have some lights on the steps. We have 
a small rug area for their uh they have like a small dining table there we have a fire pit and then the best part about this one here we have a uh our structure here we kept it pretty simple just four can lights fan some lights here some coach lights here on the outside cool thing about this one is we have no wood obviously just the tongue and groove on the inside but everything else is maintenance free we, we use that pvc to where you don't have to do anything with it it's a, it's a, it's uh guaranteed for life so All right, so we just finished looking at this one. Seems like everything's good. The only thing we're gonna come back, which uh, it's it's due for that, we're, we're gonna power wash, re-sand, and then seal these pavers. So as you can see, what when we seal, we'll show you guys really quick. What what that does is it gives you that wet look. As you can see, this is the original color here. When we seal, it'll it'll stay like this here, get that wet look. And then this here, that border will look a lot darker. Um, and I was the biggest thing is going to be protecting from stains. We typically use an oil based sealer so that way like wine spills or if you're cooking any grease or anything like that it's going to be a lot easier to clean up or most of the time you want to you want to stick to it. So um, that's about it for this one and then we're on to the next one. All right, so we're on to, if I'm not mistaken, stop number seven of the day. Um, I thought it's pretty cool because from here you can see very hard to see, but we have a project right on the other side of this turn around here and then uh we have another project right on the other side that which is one of the ones we're going to go to and then two houses down from that project we have another one we'll be starting to build here in the next two weeks so pretty cool to have three to four projects here in the same neighborhood which is starting to be, become uh, a thing for us so stay tuned right now for this uh that's actually the last one of the day we get to fit in so stay tuned this is the last stop. We have a project with uh, quite a bit of features here. Once again, we're gonna check in to see how it held up to the winter time. All right, another cool thing about this project here is we actually won an, uh, an award with Unilock. As you can see, it's, it's a pretty unique yard due to the uh, to the to the slope here. This this wall here was more of a must, and we walk this way, you'll be able to see. Um, it doesn't look as massive because we uh, we regraded here, but it's a pretty big drop. I'm gonna say easily four foot drop just to be flush with the patio and another two feet there so six foot drop to be able to get from here to that top, top of that wall there and so that that really gave us the, the chance to get a little more creative with the landscaping with the landscape lighting decor of rock and then just gave it like a more of a i would call like a 3d view right away everything is holding up this wall here is really what anybody would be con concerned more with any shifting or anything because this wall is really what's holding everything together if this wall is shifting then we have problems but as you can see we have again our unilock lineal wall what we ended up doing with the here with this one here if you guys notice we didn't use any spacers to be able to you know keep keep uh keep everything together just to be on the safe side but as you can see everything's holding up pretty well let's go check out the features inside and the patio see how that's holding up all right so as you guys can see we come around back and we have some of our favorite Unilock products is our Beacon Hill Smooth and our XL units, the nail wall, coping or full nose coping. And then our one of our uh, main focal points here is our gazebo. And then we have our built-in grill. This, I honestly don't even expect any movement because what we do with our grills, any grills, fire tables, whatever it is, we do a concrete pad. And then on top of that, we do you know footings that go below freezing point. So I know for a fact, this there was going to be no issues with this but then again we're looking at the pavers i see sand held up pretty well so i mean there's, there's zero zero issues another thing was remember the steps is one of the things that is typically an issue like i said we i feel like we perfected that and figured out how to make sure that it doesn't settle or anything so as you can see it's holding up pretty well there oh another cool thing about this project is we uh did a custom wood box and what we ended up doing to be able to incorporate with the rest of the project we ended up using that same granite countertop that we have on the bar i was in the grill section we used here kind of hard to tell but we added some lighting there's uh i'm gonna say about 50 to 60 lights here in this project which seems like all of them are up and running right now and uh another thing we did here was this fire pit section another cool feature about this project is we got a little creative here with the to try to separate spaces from from each other is we did our beacon hill smooth but in our, in our three piece so that was another cool thing we did here but um 
other than that, I think we're uh, we're good to go on this project. Probably the only thing I would recommend because I see a little bit of stains is power washing, re-sanding, and sealing, but that would be up to the customer, obviously. But other than that, one more project, one more confirmation that things are built not, they don't just look nice, but they actually last. All right, so the whole purpose of today is proving to our customers that we're here not only when they're spending money with obviously when we're spending money building you know anyone's going to be there but are they really going to be there once all that is gone that's that's really to to us that's really what matters is being there after the project is done you know even just for the simple fact is you know how do they take care of this when it's built biggest thing is being here before the project during and after so th to make sure that you know they they're able to enjoy this patio for a lifetime like we promised at the beginning All right, so just getting home, long day, but productive. Like I said before, this year we want to bring you guys a lot more transparency behind the scenes, you know, not just before and after pictures. Obviously all that looks nice and we are going to bring that to you. We want to bring that, that extra sauce. So <laughs> let us know, you know, what you guys want to see more of. If it's, if you guys like the builds, we'll show that. If you guys want to see stuff like today, day to day, let us know, but we definitely appreciate any feedback. <laughs>